So now in this video, we're gonna look at a real common reason to measure the power supply directly, and this is in the case of batteries. So batteries have a uh, changing voltage. When they're fully charged, they have their maximum voltage. As you use them, their voltage goes down. So these are alkaline batteries, these left three ones, they come fully charged, Whereas the uh, lithium ion batteries, the ones on the right, are probably halfway charged when you get them because they're rechargeable. And so in storage, usually you keep them about halfway charged, about 3.6 volts for that one. And uh, then you charge up to 4.2 volts and use it. This one, it's a little different. We'll get to that later. So these are uh, known as 1.5 volt cells. When they're fully charged, they are actually 1.6 volts, usually. So... We're going to set the meter to measure 20 volts or less because uh, this is a 9 volt battery and so we won't have to change the setting and this will be good enough for this video. We make sure the red probe is a voltage. If you want to get as accurate as possible you would go to 2 volts and in fact we'll start with that one. So we'll start with 2 volts, hit the uh, power button and all we have to do is uh, these are button tops. So is this 18650 by the way, some 18650 batteries have a flat top so it looks similar to the bottom but usually it's not as smooth as the bottom there's like little air vents or something but in any case pay close to attention to where the plus is and the minus is for those so this says 3.6 volts some battery companies do that it should probably say 3.6 it says 3.7 should probably say 3.6 and uh but it, it doesn't really matter. You can fully charge it to 4.2 volts, whether it says 3.6 or 3.7. Now, we just take the red probe and go to the button and uh, on top there and at the bottom, you can see 1.595 and we'll do this one really quick right there. Uh, same thing, basically, almost the exact same voltage. Now we go to a 20 volts and uh, get that glare out of there. And you'll see it says, uh, this is backwards right now, but uh, negative 1.6. It doesn't hurt it to connect it backwards. You just get a negative number right there, 1.6. Now, this is a 9 volt battery. You're gonna see it's actually slightly above 9 volts. So I said these are 1.5 and uh, that's nine. They were all slightly above. And so the 9 volt battery is really just the chemistry, the 1.5 volt chemistry that they stack in series. So there's six chemistries in series their voltages add up to about 9 volts and since they're actually about 1.6 volts fully charged this is slightly higher than 1 volt each uh, 1.5 volts each and uh, so it's about 9.5 now the lithium ion battery so these come fully charged lithium ion batteries work a bit differently so fully charged again this has a button top but that's positive up there you can see that it's about four volts now. So it's not fully charged, but it's pretty good charged right now. It's not uh, too bad. And even if you do charge it to 4.2 volts, it usually drops to about 4.1 volt over a day or two anyways. So if you really need the maximum out of them, wait until right before you need to use them to charge them. But it's still okay to charge them. Let them sit around a while before you use them. And if you want to store them for long periods of time, you should probably keep them about 3.6 volts. And now we'll come to this battery again. We'll just measure it backwards. It doesn't hurt anything. Uh, negative 8.12. So this one is actually, it says 9 volts on the battery. But uh, never charge this to 9 volts. Use the charger, in fact. The charger will charge it to 8.4 volts. And, uh, and then stop. So either I use this or it sat around long enough where the voltage kind of drifted down a little bit from 8.4 to 8.12. So it's gonna hold that pretty good for a long time. It doesn't hold the 8.4 terribly long. So in any case, the main takeaway for now is that uh, when this is fully charged, when it has the maximum uh, usable energy within it, it will be 8.4 because it is two of these 4.2 volts. So it's cells. It's just, uh, just little chemical areas, but they stack two of them, just like putting two of these batteries in a series. In fact, we'll do that with the uh, 1.6 volt cells. So this isn't uh, perfectly flat. So I'm gonna use these uh, nine volts to kind of hold them in place right there. And so you can put uh, 
these batteries in series like this too so they do the same thing just they stack the chemistry and there you can see it's twice the uh, voltage it's actually their voltage is added up and uh, so that's another thing with our lithium ion batteries so you see them in series a lot these 18650 batteries you have to make sure that they're all charging and discharging when they're in series evenly because you don't want to go below 3 volts with the uh, single cell here I mean you can go below but 2.5 volts you absolutely do not want to go below so once it's getting to about 3 volts it's going to quickly drop to 2.5 volts it's not holding its charge very good and you can do some damage some batteries have a circuitry in there that cuts them off it makes it so you can't use it anymore unless you know how to get them working again but you really got to know what you're doing I don't suggest doing that uh, unless you really know what you're doing so once it gets around 3 volts make sure you recharge it as soon as possible and uh, this one is uh, basically two 4.2 volt uh, batteries not as big though just the chemistry in series and uh, so you can fully charge 8.4 volts and then when each of those cells drops to about 3 volts so 6 volts total because they're in series you want to recharge these uh, so called 9 volt batteries even though you really get about 8.4 volts out of them when they're fully charged so now I had a couple batteries from my headlamp here charging while I was filming they've been charging for a while so this one is not fully charged yet it's at about 4.18 volts so it's an 18650 battery it's also a button top so this uh, charger considers that about 90 percent charge if I hit this uh, slot button we have a lot of other information on here too so when it's lit up I don't think it shows up as good but there you can see 4.2 volts it's even saying full and it has a hundred percent right there and uh, this battery has been kind of finicky lately lately let's see uh, how it responds to being plugged in the charger so not bad there you can see four volts and it considers that 77 percent charge so I'm guessing when it's down to three volts it'll be zero percent charge and then when it's uh, 3.6 volts probably 50% charge that's probably what's going to say so it's also saying the amount of current going into it 0.2 amps I think I that's what I set it to earlier you can adjust that you can do all kinds of stuff uh, with this charger but for this video all we're looking at is voltage of batteries and their state of charge so these alkaline ones you just use them until they're not working anymore then you throw them away there there used to be rechargeable alkaline my dad used to have those he really loved them but apparently not many other people did so uh, alkaline you just generally throw away whereas uh, lithium ion batteries you recharge them so the state of charge is uh, more worrisome more important to you because you don't want to drain them too far so in any case that's really about it for measuring voltages of batteries uh, please check out one of these other videos make sure you click subscribe and the bell so that you get updates of my new videos I will see you in the next video.